Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be building a recycling center shaped like a dumpster in The Sims 4. I'm starting on the waterfront lot in the Eco Harbor and I am starting by bulldozing the lot and building a rectangle 12 by 26 squares. The first level is the first wall height and the second level is the third wall height. The third level is the first wall height again. I'm deleting the first level so that I have a floating rectangle and now I'm adding the half gable roof and I'm making it about the same height as the third level wall height. And I'm going to curve it out a bit so it looks like the lid of a dumpster. I'm using the shift key to only move one side so that the dumpster has a lip just on the front. You can do that to uh, adjust overhangs of your roof. Over here I'm adding handles to the sides of the dumpster by adding small rooms and deleting two of the walls. The roof of the room is not the same thickness as the floor, so I added two floors on top so that it looked more even. And I'm using the corrugated metal in the olive green color for the dumpster for both the floor and the wall. And for the roof, I'm using the heavy metal paneled roof in black. And I'm using the trim in black as well. I'm using the um, elemental bling roof sculpture from the snowy escape pack for the hinge of the dumpster. And now to make the wheels, I'm using the industrial grade end cap and the HVAC roof duct. So first I'm moving the roof ducts up. Those are going to be sort of the bearing that holds the wheel in place. And then I'm using the industrial grade end caps to make the wheels themselves. I'm doing this just by sizing it up and moving it with move objects. You can use the brackets to size it up and then the 0 and 9 keys to raise or lower the object. Doing this with the ducks and the end, end caps all the way around until I have four wheels. Next, I'm using the water stains from the Vampire's Pack to add some grime and dirt to the outside of the dumpster and basically just make it look super gross. I'm also adding some of these sort of drippy stains from the Strangerville pack, which again just really add to the disgusting feel of the dumpster. I'm not adding these on the back because I don't really see how something would drip down the back side of a dumpster as much. I guess if the lid was open. Maybe I should have put them on the back. They're not there! I'm also adding some graffiti. Um, from the wall art and sizing it up to make it look like the dumpster got tagged. I add a little bit more of this later, I'm not sure if that's filmed, but the end result does have more graffiti. Now I'm going into the debug objects. And I'm searching by Eco Living so that I can find objects from the dumps. They've got these trash piles. There's several different trash piles. And I'm sizing them up and placing them all around in front of the dumpster using only one of each pile so that it's not repetitive and looks more natural.
So I'm going inside and trying to add in an elevator so that I don't have to make a staircase or a ladder going down from the bottom of the dumpster. Turns out this doesn't work, but I didn't know this at the time. The ladder uh, elevators only work in the uh, city building pack. And adding in two staircases so people can get up to the upper level. And I don't know it at the time, but this is no longer the way that you make the balcony. The update changed that. You no longer need to go across in front of the stairs, and in fact, it will make your sims not know how to walk. I just say they can't go upstairs endlessly. Playtesting this one was frustrating. Here I decided to change to a bigger spot and... Building lot. I just changed the lot type. Building lot. Oh god. Oh no. Undo. There's no undo. There's no undo. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. So, moving on, rebuild that, didn't need to show you, you already saw it. Thankfully I had a helpful tutorial video to show me exactly what to do. Now I'm dividing up the inside of the build. I'm placing the essential objects first, so I kind of get a size of what size the rooms need to be, an idea of how to size up, can't talk. At first I thought I was going to put in a bunch of woodworking tables, but um, changed my mind about that don't know why I thought that was a good idea in the first place. And this is the painting studio. Four easy setup. Yeah, here I decided maybe I should put in some activity tables upstairs, which would make sense. And, um, now I'm down here dividing these rooms. First I sectioned off for the kitchen and the bathroom, over here will be where the cycle machines are. Trying to see how many of those I can fit. Up here was when I realized I needed fabricators, and they should go upstairs. <laughs> and then over here, I'm dividing the rooms up giving them the industrial doorway from Eco Living, and giving that industrial doorway and the short version to all the rooms up here. This is me desperately trying to remember where they put dumpsters and deciding just to search my pack for it. I still don't know where dumpsters fall under. Let me know in the comments if you if you remember. Dividing the kitchen and the bathroom. Now I'm picking out tables to put in so that people have somewhere to eat if they do decide to make something at the kitchen. You know, for if you're just recycling all day and you work up an appetite. Adding some color, going off of the same colors that the recyclers and the dumpsters come in those primary colors, and green.
putting in the industrial cabinets and counters. I actually ended up didn't didn't end up going with cabinets. Misspoke again. At first I thought I'd want an oven, but then I decided I they just start so many fires. So instead they're getting the vending machines and the fridge. The commercial fridge and a microwave. A coffee machine. But no oven. I'm using the tiny saucer lights because you can't really see them and they give off a really good amount of light. And I didn't really feel like lighting was a part of the design of this build. I know those mason jar lamps probably would have worked, but I wasn't feeling it. Here I'm sectioning off um, small little toilet rooms for in the bathroom because the stalls didn't really fit in my small bathroom here. This way I can fit three toilets instead of, I don't know, two. Putting in three sinks as well. Now I'm trying in vain to find the community board. It is nowhere to be found. That's a glitch that I'm sure EA will fix in a timely manner. So instead I found one from Krinrikt. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing their username correctly, but thank you to them for putting that up on the gallery. I'm giving the lot the eco lot, landfill lot, and reduce, reuse, recycle traits to make it easier to utilize as a recycling center. And I'm color coding these rooms down here just to make it bright and cheery on the inside. Just because it's dreary and disgusting on the outside doesn't mean it has to be that way on the inside. I'm also color coding these sections over here. This is a fun trick with the flooring. If you press the little tiny arrow keys, the comma and period keys, or um, also same key, you can change the direction that your flooring goes if you have move objects on. This means you can line up the corrugated metal, which is a pet peeve of mine when it doesn't line up. Obviously isn't going to line up on one of the walls, but you pick a favorite. I'm adding some half walls here to add a little bit of distinction between the creative spaces. These half walls are too tall for in between the activity tables for the children, so I replaced them with smaller ones. I'm just using the gray capper, kind of neutral matches the gray outside of the room. Just adding some fabricated decorations to the fabrication wall, some colorful ones for the activity center, adding some tools for the carving tables, I'm going to the debug objects to fill up. I'm about to put some shelves in here on these walls and I go to the debug objects to fill those up.
Also in the debug objects, I am grabbing the bottles of juice that you can fizz at the juice machines and making a wall of shelves full of the different juices that you can make. Turns out that there's exactly 15 shelves worth, which was convenient for me because that's how many shelves are put down without counting first. I'm just using move objects to move these up and put them on the shelves because they don't actually sit on the shelves, which is a little bit annoying. Because they look like they would fit. And I'm going to the wall decorations to grab the bottles of wine, wine rack, and um, putting those on either side of the door. Also in the debug objects, I'm going to make some candle displays next to these candle making centers. Thankfully, these ones actually automatically place on the shelves. Though you do have to place them one at a time instead of in six packs. I'm adding in these little art trays next to the easels. And now I'm going to make a scene for the artist to paint. Here I have the little ballerina girl and the astronaut touching hands. I don't know, it's artistic. Look at the pose, the movements. I'm also putting up these sketch drawing things, form studies I think they're called, because they make your sim really inspired, which helps with creative things. Under lights, there's a still life, and there's also a still life under plants for um, the laundry day pack, but I forgot about that and went to make my own. It's this table before I found it and went, oh, <laughs> that was easy. I'm using these dine out curtains as a background and the rugs, buried rugs from the laundry bay pack underneath it. And then I realized that I needed to put a rug underneath my Spaceman Ballerina and I changed the platform to black so it blended it in with the rug and added a solar lamp. I also put down these painty backsplash What's it called? Drop cloth. Painty drop cloth rugs. And I went to the get together items to get um, little flags to show what was in each of these rooms. I had to get a little creative with the fabrication and activity table rooms and the candle room. But they don't all work great, but... <laughs> and because I left plants, adding in just a ridiculously obnoxious amount of plants to the build. Just plants everywhere. They're not outside, God knows. In the garbage. This... This whole area up here <laughs> I had to do twice because of the rebuild with the stairs. But one important tip that did stay the same was that if you shift click, you can delete just or delete or add room trim to one side of the room at a time. That way it doesn't clip into your build like that. You can do the same with roofs, I believe. Don't quote me on that one. When I was going to have the elevator, I wanted the Hydro Mixer 4200 to look like elevator machinery, but elevators don't work. I added some warning signs about the recyclers because they look super dangerous and some braces above the dumpsters. I'm adding posters in the kitchen. And 
land flooring because I somehow forgot to do that in a large part of the downstairs. Adding these colorful rugs and these recycling bins and some lockers for you to put your stuff while you're busy at work recycling everything. I decided to make these sinks look like a face. I don't know, it was just funny. Here I'm adding a bit more of the graffiti and making sure that the walls are all properly painted because sometimes when you move things, they get a bit messed up. So instead of the elevator, what I actually ended up doing was a door and a ladder. I put the ladder inside of the tiny room like this so that the whole downstairs level of the build doesn't register as outside. Just that one little room registers as outside. So here is my sim at the lot. Servo at the dump. You can see that we've got our activity room, our fabrication room, the woodworking room, the gallery. We've got Sims painting in the gallery. They're not painting what I set up for them because why would they? But they're there and they're painting. Got the juice fizzing, the candle making. Recycling, a bunch of food that they started to make and then didn't finish to make and just left out to get smelly. Very Sims-esque. All over the place, that's where that is. These dumpsters are already full. I only left the lot alone long enough for the sun to come back, and this is what they have done to it. Not surprised. Now it's a dumpster inside and out. So thank you for watching. This build is on the gallery now if you'd like to download it.